what is zeroing of test lead? How is it done and why is it important for you before you use your multimeter to test for eight resistance test to make sure you actually zero your test lead? First, it's good you know that for every conductor, they have a resistance. And so do your test lead also. So what you didn't want is that while you're carrying out your test, you don't want the resistance of your test leads to be added to the actual resistance of the conductor you are testing. It's good to know that Flux 1664, which I'll be using in this video, has a feature that lets you zero or minus the uh, resistance in your test lead. One way you can actually do this is you manually test your test leads and you record the value and whenever you test, you keep on minusing or removing the value of your test lead every time from your test. That should take a lot of time and you don't want that. The manufacturer of this multimeter know this and they don't want you to pass through all those stress. And so do other manufacturer of other testers too. So I'll show you how to zero your leads and automatically just carry out your test without worrying about the resistance in the test lead. First things first, you need to make sure you plug on your test lead into the correct place. First, uh, line and P should be plugged into the appropriate place. Uh, the ports already designed for it. After you plug on your test lead, then there's something Fluke call zero adapter. It's just a piece of metal anyway, and you can basically use any other piece of metal, but it's good to use this melter if you do have one. This is what they call zero adapter. If you do have one, bring it out. You can bring it out whenever you want to do this your test. Basically, it just allows you to be able to test your two leads without having to touch, hold them against each other. So you just go in and plug the two test leads from the two ends. Usually you always need two cable only when it comes to dead testing for continuity for resistance testing. So you just go on and plug it into your adapter. And you see here, I already removed the, uh, the cover at the tip of my test lead because I know this is not needed for this part and it will not actually allow me to do what I want to do. So I take it off. Then the next thing I do is as I press the test button. And I can see from my test that I have 0 0.10 ohms uh, from the test lead right now. What am I to do with that? How do I make it work now? Now you don't want this value to be adding up to all your test results. And that is why we go to the next step. So what do you do? You carry your test, uh, test uh, meter again. And for this, you need this button called the F2 for zeroing your test lead. And that is it right here, the F2 button. And the manufacturer says I should just press the F2 button for at least more than two seconds. And that is what I'm doing right now. And after that, as you can see on my, on my, on my screen, it just brings out the value of the resistance. And after some time, it just fades away. What has happened there? It has actually saved that value on its own memory. And anytime you carry a test, it will keep on uh, uh, minusing this result or uh, uh, the, the removing this result from any test result the actual test result you are carrying out that way you don't need to keep adding and removing anything so i go ahead to press to, uh, to, to check a uh, test again and it's showing me 0 0.00 ohms that means you already see my uh, test result my, my, uh, my resistance rather of the test lead and it's already in memory it will keep minusing it from any test i carry out and that's all about it about zeroing it's pretty simple isn't it yeah, and that's all it. If you want me to teach you more features about uh, Flux 1664 and other uh, testers, I can definitely drop there for you. Just let me know and uh, show that you like this uh, video and I'll definitely do that. Thank you so much.